So India just landed on the moon, and one of the biggest reasons why this is huge is because of where it landed. Here, near the South Pole. But why? India has done now it. India it becomes the fourth the nation to safely land on the moon's south pole. No one successfully landed near the moon's south pole before. Why is this landing so close to the moon's south pole? South pole. South pole. And south pole. Countries like the US, China, Russia, and even India have been trying to land on this particular side of the moon for several years now. And there's one main reason for that. Water. So back in the 60s, the lunar samples required from the Apollo mission were analyzed and were found to be dry. Remember, this was somewhere between the late 60s and the early 70s. The technology back then was nowhere near compared to what we have today. In 2008, a few researchers from Brown University revisited those lunar samples with newer, better technology. And they found hydrogen inside tiny beads of volcanic glass, which is evidence of water. On October 22, 2008, the Chandrayaan-1 probe was launched by the Indian Space Research Organization. Among many other advanced equipment, it also carried NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper. It's an imaging spectrometer. In 2009, during the mission, the mapper detected water molecules in the form of hydroxyl. This is the data it collected. The blue you see here, that's water. The water molecules were found in the lunar soil, and they're thought to have come from a variety of sources, including comets, asteroids, and the lunar interior. Another detection of water was in the same year, when a NASA probe crashed into the Cabeus crater, one of the darkest and the coldest craters on the moon. The impact created this plume of dust and vapor. This confirmed that in addition to the water found in the soil, there is ice trapped below the surface of the moon as well. Scientists are interested in pockets of ancient ice on the moon because they could provide a wealth of information about the moon's history and potential for future explorations. The ice is thought to be ancient, dating back to the early days of the moon's formation. It could provide a record of lunar volcanoes, which are thought to have played a role in shaping the moon's surface. The ice could also contain material that comets and asteroids delivered to Earth and could help us understand the origin of oceans. If the ice exists in sufficient quantities, it could be a valuable resource for future moon exploration. It could be used as a source of drinking water or to cool down equipment and to produce hydrogen for fuel and oxygen to breathe. And the peaks of the mountain in the region also gets constant and near constant sunlight, which creates excellent opportunities for generating power to support lunar activities. The South Pole is a particularly challenging place to land, and attempted landings on that part have failed before. Russia's Luna 25 craft was scheduled to land on the South Pole, but it spun out of control on approach and crashed. The South Pole is far from the equatorial region targeted by previous moon missions, including the crewed Apollo landings. It is also full of craters and deep trenches, which makes it difficult to land safely. The reason for the Luna 25 crash is still under investigation, but it's also possible that the craft was affected by the harsh conditions at the South Pole. The temperature there could be as low as negative 233 degrees in Celsius, and the surface is bombarded with radiation from the sun. Also, this time, the objectives kind of changed a little from the previous Chandrayaan mission. There's a lot, and it's very exciting. So the mission will last for one lunar day, or 14 Earth days. Chandrayaan-3 has some crazy expensive pieces of equipment on board, such as the radio anatomy of moon-bound hypersensitive enosphere and atmosphere, short for RAMBA. It will study the stuff near the moon's surface, like ions and electrons. Also, the lunar seismic activity instrument, short for ILSA which, like the name suggests, is going to measure the shaking on the moon near the landing site and help us understand how the lunar crust and mantle are structured. This mission also includes a rover, which is equipped with a laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, short for LIBS, that will use lasers to study the moon's surface. This will help us learn about the chemicals and the minerals on the moon. So yeah, there's a lot of expensive tech. Also, I really glossed over everything here, really trying to simplify it for the video. But if you are interested in more details, I have added a link to the official Chandrayaan 3 page in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. My recent videos are completely different from the videos that I've made in the past. I'm trying to switch it up a bit and focus more on telling interesting stories about various different topics. So if you like the sound of that, I would highly appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in the next video.